Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tasia, but you can also call me Tay, and welcome in. I'm so glad to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a speed build. It's going to be a landscape city kind of build, um, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you so much for 1.5k subscribers. That's honestly insane to me. We're growing so quickly here on the channel and I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. I'm so excited, it, I'm so happy and I just wanted to say thank you guys because you all are incredible. Um, if you are new and this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please consider subscribing. I post fun Animal Crossing videos and I'd love to have you guys join this little community that we are building here. Um, so yeah, definitely consider liking and subscribing and let's just get right into this video. So we are here on my island Pop-Tart. It is my industrial construction town core island. That's how I like to describe it. Um, and like I said, we're going to be doing a whole cityscape speed build behind me here in this long dirt section. Um, and a little disclaimer before we get started. I actually had built out this entire area already, but just for you guys, I decided to tear it down and redo it so that I can show you guys my process and how I built it all on camera. I also did that because I knew it would take me quite a bit of time to figure out the exact look that I wanted, um, and it did. It took me like quite a few days to actually get it right. So yeah, now we have a clean slate here and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I'll explain in detail how I did it and yeah, we're going to get started. Okay, so here we are. Um, like I mentioned, I had already done this build, so if it seems like I'm kind of placing everything very intently, it's because I'm going based off of the images that I took before I tore it all down. Um, but yeah, I pretty much started off with terraforming and believe me, a lot of this was trial and error my first time doing it. Um, but I also built a build that's kind of similar to this one on one of my past islands, um, which I could put the DA in the description. It was my Enchanted Island themed after the Disney movie Enchanted, so I built a New York section and I kind of used that build as a reference for this one. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I start off with terraforming. I kind of shape each section into the size of the building that I want it to be. So you can see I kind of vi have varying indents and lengths in the cliff and that's because I like to keep my buildings usually two by two wide. There are a lot of great items such as the retro transportation stop and simple panels and the display cases, so many items that are really great for creating buildings like this. Um, and I think it's just the perfect size and I, as I'm building it, I kind of like to keep each like section its own individual building, which you'll kind of see what I mean as I place more items down. But here I'm starting off on the bottom and then I kind of work my way up to the top. I also place down some pathing up here because you never know, from different angles you may or may not see the cliff, so I just decide to place um, brick path all on the bottom just to be on the safe side. So then I start building up my second layer and I'm kind of wanting to keep it a very Kidcore-esque look so I use a lot of the um, storefronts and display cases and my island's also a construction kind of theme so I use a lot of the construction scaffolding. Here's a view of what it looks like so far. And another thing that I love using are standees. There are a ton of good standee building codes that you could use. Um, all of the codes, by the way, are in my Pinterest, which is linked down below in the section called um, Pop-Tart. So you can find all the codes if you like any of them there on my Pinterest. But yeah, uh, standees and simple panels can be your best friend when creating builds like this. So I absolutely love using simple panels and standees. I feel like it gives each building its own individual 
style and as I'm building this I kind of like to create a story out of it so I think okay what kind of shapes will look like an apartment and what designs will make it look like a store so I kind of try to break up each little piece of terraforming into its own building so as you can see here I have the fencing and a display case with the TV in it that represents one building and then the bottom layer is kind of the first floor of that building so as i'm building this that's kind of how i visualize it usually two by two wide size as i mentioned and yeah i just layer and layer and layer that's honestly the trick to this is creating a bunch of layers and making it very dynamic Here's a little view of how it looks so yeah that's kind of how I build and it's really just repetitive after that so I'm gonna let the music play for a bit and I'll check back in once we start the next section start adding some minor details towards the bottom here on the sidewalk I think I wanted to add a little newspaper stand and I was going to put a stall here but I thought that would clash a little bit too much because there are a few colors going on in this area so I decided just to use this standee with a newspaper stand code on it and the little menu sign I also add a um, puppy what's the name of that item I, I honestly can't think of the name of the item right now but the puppy plushie I think it is or maybe yeah I'm just gonna go with that puppy plushie I place that down and some street lamps and the um, sign and yeah this is kind of what it looks like I like to make it very lively by adding those minor details and like I said making a little story out of it but now we're moving on to this next section so here I kind of outlined I had this rock here that just spawned naturally and I decided to make a construction site so it's gonna be a whole landscape and I wanted to have an indent of maybe they're building a new building here so then I came up with the idea of making it a little under development or under construction um, gas station so I'm gonna have a little 7-eleven that's going to be built in this section here so I add a lot of the construction items and I don't know I just really like the way this looks and I love how it came out so I just add some construction items I use the termite mound because I think it looks like a pile of dirt that maybe they piled up as they're building and I use some of the pipes back there just to show they're building up this little area and I add a few more little details along the street like the construction sign this tire toy I also add a little toolbox and some cardboard boxes as well and then I go up to the top layer again and lay some more brick pathing and once that's filled in we're going to start placing some simple panels now when I had first built this this area took me the longest I was trying because the 7-Eleven only has three simple panels across and I really wanted it to look symmetrical up up on top of it so <laughs> I messed around with this section a lot but I ended up going with these simple panels and some of the antique wardrobes I believe that's what they're called and the decorative pillars so yeah it kind of looks like some mini apartments that are already above the 7-Eleven and I think it turned out really cute so next we're moving on to this little section over here I just wanted to make it look very simple kind of similar to the other section that was on the left hand side of the 7-eleven and yeah just kind of repeating this a similar 
technique of just placing simple panels using storefronts and just creating more layers to make it very dynamic. I really love adding um, some greenery up top so I place the plant partitions. I kind of change it up between plant partitions or the bush fencing. It really just depends on how I want the overall look to be. Um, but yeah, I think adding those in really makes it cute as well. And I add some bookcases behind these simple panels just to really frame the shape of this building. Next I add in a few trees behind the building just to fill in space and I'm going as you can see I have a road going along behind there so I don't want to add something too tall that would block your view as you're walking by so I thought trees would just be a good fit. And here I'm going to place an incline where those two blue tiles are um, just so you can get up to the road back there so I leave a little space and then I start filling in this back part of the building with some storefronts. And I think it's shaped really well. Honestly, when making these kinds of builds, it's pretty much just like a puzzle. Just making sure everything fits in properly and getting in the right sized items. It all comes together in the end. It just, like I mentioned before, is all trial and error. So next, we're going to be moving on to this last section here. So in this area, I really wanted to do an alley kind of build so I decided it'd be really cute to add a little playground and then another building on the right side so there's going to be a playground on the left and the building on the right with a little alleyway in the middle um, so here I'm just outlining where I'm going to place the incline and I decide to kick up some of the dirt so this green part can be the playground because a lot of the area is filled with gray concrete around so I thought it'd be nice to have a little patch of green to fill in the space and separate it from the rest of the buildings. And here we just start terraforming some more for this building. I kind of just wanted it to be some basic apartments. Maybe this is where some of those kids who play on the playground live. And yeah, we're just going to build up this section. And here's how it's looking so far. So pretty much basic outline and we're going to fill it in with some items. So next I start adding some of this green path along the dirt just to make it have that overgrown feel. I just love I just love this vibe of adding green grass over the dirt pathing. I really think it's super nice. And I decide to add this little hopscotch section next to the playground. I think it's super cute. I love this code. I've used it on some of my past islands as well. I just love it so much. And I add a few little rock codes on the ground just to fill in more of the dirt space. And we add a few tire toys to this playground. Honestly, on some of my islands where I have a playground, I keep it very simple. It's usually only a three by three square, but I just think it's really cute that way. And yeah, I just think it's a little detail that you could add. And here we start working on the apartment on top. So I'm just gonna be using the simple panels, a storefront and the retro transportation stops all over again and some display cases just to fill in the top of the roof for the building. But if you've been enjoying the video so far, please consider liking. And speaking of videos, definitely let me know you guys what other kinds of videos you'd like to see on the channel. I really want to expand some of my content, so I've been brainstorming ideas that I could do. But if there's any Animal Crossing related videos that you enjoy watching on other channels, definitely let me know down below and I'll definitely consider doing some more videos because as much as I love speed builds I'd like to change it up every now and then so let me know anything that you'd like to see or you'd like to me to try 
I am going to be doing Happy Home um, for this island so I can change up the houses. So I have already started some houses on Happy Home, but yeah, would you like to see me do some houses? Definitely let me know. I'm honestly down for anything, so yeah. But here, like I, as you can see, I'm adding in a few more details just to make it feel very lively and feel like people actually live in this section. So I added a puppy plushie back there and the trash can and some trash bags from the apartment and more stuff along the street, some dropped chips. I add this little fence back here just to add some more color and break up the section. And this is how this area is looking. Finally, we're going to add in the incline. Um, so we go over to Tom Nook and we're going to ask him if we can build an incline. And at first, this I hadn't actually added an incline when I first built this because I wanted to save some of my bells. And my first instinct was to do the blue iron bridge. And I thought I would like it more than what it actually turned out to be. But once I saw it there placed amongst all the other items I had already used, um, it just looked way too blue. <laughs> there was too much blue going on in the area. So um, I wasn't really liking it. I thought it would be really cute, but it's just too much. And the backdrop with the blue fencing that I have up here, it's already just a lot. So I decided to change it to the... Um, brick incline and I like the way that looks so much better. It looks much more natural in the section and yeah so I decided to go with that one. A few more final touches around the build. I add a drop leaf pile, this can, and a cruiser bike, and we are done. So yeah, this one was super fun. I'm going to show you around the area, and I hope you enjoy. And that leads to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very long but fun one, so I'm really happy with the product and I hope you are as well. And that's about it from me. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!